If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. What was this even all about then? Did he really ever really want to be retired? I never thought this was the end of, of Tom Brady as a football player. In fact, when he made his announcement, I don't think he used the word retirement in it. And until Tom Brady says, absolutely not, I'm not coming back, he has left the door open to come back. I kept asking, why, why, why? Why now, Tom? Made no sense. Should have won MVP. As far as I know, perfectly healthy. Yeah, I know, wife and kids, I got it. But th that's not Brady's MO. He gives them all he has to give, but they know he's not gonna be happy not playing football. There's no reason for him to stop now because He's playing as well as he ever has as he approaches age 45. Age to me is just a number. Obviously, you know him so much better than all the rest of us put together, but uh, he's a person who's always so calculated and always so organized. How, how, what has been your perspective on these last two months where he retires and then comes back? Well, I don't think it's going to play out with him on the Bucks. I think he's going to work a wow. straight to trade. Mm. Yeah, just just surprising to me. I mean, I haven't spoken to him or anything like that, but that word you just said, Gring, that calculated word, is it just defines him. So, I I, I don't know if this was unex this was he had a he had a plan and something didn't work out. Okay, I buy retirement as a leverage play. This isn't a guy that just like, you know, let me just take this day to day and see uh, what we'll do. No, I don't feel good. I'm just going to come back. Something happened here. And that's why this is so unexpected for him, for me, to, for him to just say, you know what? I retire. No, I'm going to come back. I know his father's comments in terms of the media. I'm not buying it. This guy's calculating. He knew exactly what he was doing, but something didn't work out. He did set 45 as a goal. He never falls short of his goals. And, and he actually did. So I don't think this was planned. I do believe, and I always thought this, that something happened down there that hasn't really fully been detailed yet anyway. I, I never thought he was going to love Bruce Arian style, the opposite of Belichick with a motto, win or lose, we booze. That is not Tom Brady's philosophy on football and life. And I think he's going to orchestrate a trade to the Niners. I think that they, you're going to have the one final knife in Jimmy G from Tom Brady. It's the only, it's, you know, it's the only <laughs> mountain left for him to climb to officially replace the guy who was supposed to replace him and to do it for his hometown team and to be able to take them a step further than Jimmy G was able to. Is this a bigger play? Oh, he's trying to get to San Francisco mm. so he can go play for the team that he loved growing up as a child. How seriously are you taking the Brady to San Fran rumors? 100% serious. The weapons galore. I mean, the receivers, oh, you got Kittle at the tight end, you got a run game, the NFC defense. Favorites. San Francisco, Kyle Shanahan, it's not an offense that needs Tom to be. He matches Tom's intensity. They're both very smart, very intense. There's a Belichickian feel to it. You know that's important to Tom. Arians is too loose. Um, it would be an upgrade over Jimmy G. Maybe Tom's got a little of that. It's his hometown. It was his favorite team. I think he has. It's also an offense that doesn't, Ian, ask the quarterback to carry them. It's really a run-centric offense. I think that story is delicious. All right, like Tom Brady in San Francisco. When he goes to a place like San Francisco, it's the same issue that he had when he first got to Tampa Bay. It's not the system that he's run. It's not the system that he's been so good at and so and so effective in. So his his ability to just step right in and produce the same results, it, it's it's not – it's not going to be able to happen. I still think he's going to end up the 49ers, but I just think he's done with the Buccaneers. He retired from the Buccaneers, not from football. And maybe that's why that statement only mentioned the Buccaneers, and it was every single person in the organization who was, who was thanked. Maybe the real message is he's retiring from the Buccaneers. I think Tom Brady came back after having a discussion with Malcolm Glazer about how he's going to get to his next stop, Broussard. That's the only possible explanation to me as to why he ever retired and the timing of unretiring right after spending time with the Glazer family to me leads me to believe he's he's not playing for the Bucks next year. I never liked Arians taking repeated shots at Tom publicly. I think you can do it once, twice. 
sometimes it sounded personal, a little harsh. Uh, I think that's Bruce's authentic personality. But, you know, in, in my years of covering athletes, even the gracious ones, you have to use discretion when criticizing them publicly. And Colin, I was at his first game in New Orleans, I believe, and they lost the first game with Tampa Bay. And Arians criticized him after that game in his postgame presser. I couldn't believe it. I remember writing about that. Belichick never would have done that. Bill was tough on Tom at all times in practices and film study and so forth. But criticizing Tom Brady after game, he did that very rarely over two decades. Sean Payton, Tom Brady, package deal, Miami Dolphins. What what the hell's going on in the NFL? An ex-star quarterback, somebody you probably know of pretty well, very well, communicated to me that Tom had called him about two days after the playoff loss at home, of course, to the eventual champion Rams called him to ask about, hey, what would you think if I went with Sean Payton to the Dolphins? When I heard this, I was like, what? Yeah, two days after he lost, he was seriously thinking about a proposal from Sean Payton to go as a package deal to the Dolphins. And I do remember that Tom was building a house, is building a house in Miami on a little island off the shore of Miami. Aha. Uh-huh. Well, the Dolphins are moving forward with new head coach Mike McDaniel and Tua as their starting quarterback. But according to multiple sources, they had planned on pursuing Sean Payton as the coach mm. and Tom Brady as their quarterback. Wow. In the so this out this morning? So the plan was, yes, the plan was scrapped, however, when Brian Flores filed his lawsuit against the team and the Dolphins declined to comment on the reports. But team sources confirmed that the team contacted the Saints to seek permission to speak to Sean Payton, which the Saints reportedly declined the request, which they contend was made after Payton resigned on January 25th. And Dolphins sources said that internal discussions have occurred regarding the possibility of adding Brady as a minority owner. But those considerations are on hold, not because of the lawsuit. Apparently, it's because of the pending speculation of Brady possibly coming back as a player. The Dolphins were thinking about and planning to go after Brady and Sean Payton as a package deal. And I don't think Brady's done. I think Brady's done with the Bucks, And I think Brady is retired for the offseason. Yeah, I thought Miami had probably the best chance. So did I. And I thought a lot of it was Giselle and Miami feels... I mean, it's it's billionaires, it's fashion, it's hype. You know, it's it, it, it it's an international city. Well, apparently they were also considering him as a minority owner and player. You know, he's building a house in Miami. I get that as well. I do. And the other thing I was I was led to believe is that like Brady was not all in on this yet. Brady was like they were from what I was told, Mike Brady was going to be given the leeway of kind of waiting till June. If Sean Payton did take over in Miami to make the decision, if he really wanted to do it and get back into it. When he made the comment along the lines of he doesn't know how he's going to feel when yeah, June, right. July roll around. Mm-hmm. Well, I know how he's going to feel. I know he's going to have he's he's going to feel, oh, crap. The world is going to move on without me. What am I going to do the first Sunday of the regular season? when I get to turn on the TV and watch all these guys who, in comparison to me, suck. And he said that. The last thing he wants to do is turn on a game and see that the guys playing suck, and then he can still do it. We just have 5,000 passing yards. He's, he's, his arm is as strong as it's ever been, if not yeah. stronger. Yeah. Of course he's going to watch a game week one and say, as to multiple quarterbacks, I can do it better than them. I think he's coming back. I think that the compromise for this year with Mrs. Brady was I'm going to shut it down and go 100% family time, except for my workouts and my diet. I'm 100% family time uh, from now until training camp, maybe all the way up until training camp. It's about him doing something he hasn't done yet. And he's already, he, he was too good, too fast in Tampa. Tom was convinced that Tampa would do him a solid because he did them a big solid. He chose them when they were seven and nine and in a pandemic year, he went to the sucking ears and won it all. I do not think they're gonna hold Tom Brady hostage. I think if he says, trade me to San Francisco, they will do it. He put Tampa back on the map. Wouldn't they surely say, yeah, we'll let you out of the 
second year. We did that for cap purposes anyway. It's not that big a deal. Just, just go on. You have our blessing. But I've told you before, I have another source, high placed within the Tampa organization. And that source was telling me all along, we are not inclined to let him out. If they bring all these veterans back, then I think they want to bring Tom Brady back. Who knows what the case is? What I do know is the game's better when Tom's playing, excited that he's here. I thought he was maybe going to go to the booth or some other business uh, and dominate. I assume he'll do both of those at some point in his life. He's back playing football for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. As it stands right now, I think their plan is to run it back with Brady. And look, they were 13-4 and four last year. They have good reason to believe they could have beat the, Ra the Rams had they had their receiving core intact. So I think they want to run it back. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe as I post a new Tom Brady video every day.